viruses and viroids are found everywhere, they are quite at home inside your mother's kitten. And why not? Since microbes help us prepare various useful household products such as curd, bread, idli dosa, dhokla, to name just a few. For example, have you ever wondered how milk, when left overnight with a little curd in a warm place, turns into curd by morning? The little curd added to the milk initially acts as an inoculum or starter that has useful bacteria called lactobacillus, also known as lactic acid bacteria or lab. Lab, which is present in millions inside the inoculum, multiplies at a suitable temperature and converts milk sugar lactose into lactic acid. The lactic acid in turn makes the milk thicker and partly digests the milk proteins resulting in the formation of curd. Lab improves the nutritional quality as the curd now has increased quantities of vitamin B12. After the curd is prepared, it is stored in a cool place so that the lab doesn't make it excessively sour by producing lactic acid. Another benefit of lab is to check the presence of harmful bacteria inside our stomach. In addition, some bacteria help in curing of tea, cheese and tobacco. Curing is the process that determines the flavor of tea, cheese and tobacco based on the degree of fermentation and putrefaction they have undergone by bacteria. Different varieties of cheese are distinguished by their characteristic texture, flavor and taste, all of which depend on the choice of microbe used. For example, Swiss cheese has large holes because bacteria Propioni bacterium charmani produce a large amount of carbon dioxide. Roquefort cheese, on the other hand, acquires its characteristic flavor due to a specific fungus called Penicillium roqueforti that is used to ripen it. Microbes help in making of other traditional food like bread, idli dosa, dhokla and khaman by a common process of fermentation. To make bread, baker's yeast or Saccharomyces cerevisiae is added to uncooked dough. The dough rises due to exhalation of carbon dioxide by the yeast. Now, when the bread is baked, the carbon dioxide escapes to leave a porous and light bread. Yeast helps in the preparation of idlis and dosas in a similar manner. A mixture of ground rice and dal is allowed to stand overnight and ferment. This mixture rises and sours due to the growth of yeast cells, which lends the sour flavor in the idli and dosa. In case of dhokla and khaman, the batter is prepared in a similar way with Bengal gram dal and left overnight to be fermented by microbes. Yeast also helps in wine and beer preparation by fermenting the sugars present in fruit juices or barley to produce alcohol and carbon dioxide. This is the same principle that is used in the production of toddy, a traditional drink in southern India made by fermenting the sap of the palm tree. Similarly, aerobic bacteria called acetobacter converts ethyl alcohol to produce acetic acid or vinegar. This explains why the word vinegar means sour wine. Microbes are also used to ferment fish, soya bean and bamboo shoots to prepare different foods. 
Therefore, several of our traditional food and drinks are derived from various microbes every day.